New York AP, it was quite a point, one that showed off the best of Sloan Stevens' versatile game, and so a reporter began recounting what happened to the defending U.S. Open champion after she won Sunday night to get back to the quarterfinals. Stevens interrupted. She did not think the retelling did, did justice. At all. You are not describing that point good. But I know what you're talking about, Stevens said, then proceeded to give her own play-by-play. -play. She had a drop shot. I had a drop shot back. Then she lobs me to my forehand. I ran back and hit a forehand cross court, and the crowd went crazy, she said. You didn't describe it like that. You were getting lost in there. I think that was a great point, shot, of dot the, match. Take a bow, at Sloane Stevens. And that chase down, tune around, hook shot of a passing winner just showed a glimpse of how the no. Three Stevens can go from defense to offense with flair, as she did repeatedly during her 6-3, 6-3 victory over no. 15 Elise Mertens of Belgium in the fourth round. There were other, similar efforts of that sort by the 25-year-old American. Not that she works on those kinds of improvisational moves while training. Never, never, never. I'm the type of person, if the ball goes over my head, I'm like, whatever, in practice. I don't practice that. I think it makes it unnatural. It makes you try to do too much if you're practicing trick shots. I don't know how Nick Kyrgios and guys like that do it, Steven said. Just like I always say, get your racket on it. Make a play on the ball. Make your opponent play an extra ball. That's the most important thing to me, she continued. Sometimes it doesn't have to be the best shot, but making them play another shot, you might get another opportunity. I work really hard on that instead of trying to hit a trick shot or do fancy stuff. Just simple, make them play an extra ball and see what happens, sure worked against Mertens. Next match, Stevens can employ that strategy against number 19 Anastasia Sevastova of Latvia. It'll be a rematch of last year's U.S. Open quarterfinal, won by Stevens in a third set tiebreaker. It's the third time in a row Sevastova made it to the final eight at Flushing Meadows. There's a pattern maybe, because, she said, because some tournaments I play always good, close the biggest headlines, delivered to your inbox, get news as it happens. Sign up for Boston.com's email news alerts. Thanks for signing up.